the following marks on behalf of the Red Man and the Leeds government who again for the Kuna here address on this industrial day for the sixth international conference on technical and vocational training, TNET in the Caribbean. I am particularly pleased to address you this morning on the theme defense industry responsiveness and TNET in disruptive times. Now I am sure that I am preaching to the converted based on our own experience in JDF. It is our firm belief that TBET is critical to moving our country forward. It is critical to ensuring that our young people are adequately engaged. TBET is critical to ensuring that our young people are provided with the viable option that to enable them to make a meaningful contribution to Jamaica. For the JDF, TBET has formed a key component of our commitment to delivering world-class professional military education. And since the establishment of the Caribbean Military Technical Training Institute, formerly known as the JDF Technical Training Institute, back in January 2008, our establishment of this military school was done in conjunction with our long-time partners at Hartrust NSDA. Now, when we established our technical training school, in keeping the motto, skills for service, our intention was to ensure that our service members who have the aptitude and desire to earn a technical or vocational qualification were capable of doing so, whilst continuing to perform other duties. Secondly, our aim was to also position the JDF to be able to meet its internal needs for tradesmen and women, and its economic commitment to the wider Jamaican populace. Thirdly, it was our intent to provide an avenue for our fellow CARICOM military to deliver TBET education to their own soldiers and build their own capabilities. As an indicator of our reach of the programs, if it is, the CNTI Park Kiana has given training to some 116 local partners of the JCF, Fire Bay, and TCS. TBET training has also been delivered to our about total of 58 military personnel across the region. The JDF and Jamaica have undoubtedly benefited from the forced investment in the local TBET education. Rather than outsourcing the maintenance of our bases, JD possesses a wide range of skill sets that have ensured that we remain self sufficient. Additionally, these skills have been on display across the length and breadth of the island as we construct and repair buildings and other activities. These skills were also utilized in Bahamas following the passage of Hurricane Gloria in 2019. Additionally, in recent years, as we have increased our focus on preparing our service members for life beyond the course, the certification of our TBET courses to the Art Trust has increasingly become a key element of our experiment planning. TBET training is also an integral component of our youth and community engagement planning effort here at JDF. The primary vehicle for the implementation of this kind of effort is of course Jamaica National Service Corps. Built in this program is a means by which all recruits enter the force, whether or not they transition to the JDF, are able to earn a hard TBET qualification. Critically, we count among the strength of the CNA, the JDF more broadly, the fact that one, the JDF delivers accredited certified TBET programs, and two, we maintain a strong legacy of high quality military and technical vocational training. Over the years, we have, been, we have expanded the TBET training program options offered by the force. And similarly, we have expanded the numbers of trainees and the location of the TBET training. Today, today, we are training at three locations across the country. We 
train and certify young people in the area of carpentry, welding, heat operations, electric installation, motor fuel repairs, and skills required for the hospitality industry. We are therefore training our people to meet the, need, the needs of critical industries in Jamaica, of course, in service, manufacturing, documentation, and construction. The fact that we are in a knowledge-based economy has not diminished the critical importance of TVET training and qualification. Our goals for the TVET are in line with the objectives identified by UNESCO's Chapter for TVET 2016-2021 much of which remains valid today. This strategy states that TVET is important in advancing youth employment, improving access to decent work, entrepreneurship, problems, life, and learning. This strategy further states that TVET empowers individuals, organizations, enterprises, and communities, and fosters employment, decent work, thereby promoting inclusive and sustainable growth and competitiveness, social equity and environmental sustainability. The subsequent UNESCO TVET that we cover in the period 2022 to 2029 emphasizes the crucial role of TVET in the recovery and transformation of both education systems and labor markets globally. This perspective is also in line with the JDF's push to expand team operators within the same TTI as a means of ensuring that our young people are able to access jobs across various local and international industries. From the perspectives, perspective, TVET is, is key to providing many of our unattached youths with a viable alternative to a life of crime and violence. For us, therefore, TVET is not only for disruptive times. On the contrary, it is a critical component of our focus on education and training that has a real continue to ensure that we have fulfilled our duties to the government and the people of Jamaica. Our commitment to the importance of TVET to rebuilding the high levels of youth unemployment and ultimately changing the culture of violence in Jamaica is also reflected the fact that the JDF has over the years partnered with the Ministry of National Security to do a TVET training at the CNPTI on the Citizen Security and Justice Program. More recently, we partnered again with the Ministry of Archers and the Caribbean Maritime University for the delivery of activated truck driving programs, which are here at equipping our young people from vulnerable with skills for the locals and overseas job market and of course still away from a life of young violence. In the post-pandemic era, many persons who walked away from their pre-pandemic jobs have done so to start their own businesses. They have done so because these skills offer a pathway of entrepreneurship, a greater sense of independence and an opportunity to work in a field that is overwhelming and fulfilling. While the data is sparse on the specific areas that these indoors have concerned to, a Forbes magazine article from October 2021 suggests and cited research which found that during the early days of the pandemic, more new businesses were launched in the US than any quarter in history and nearly 1.4 million startups were founded. This trend keeps being fundamental. This article also concluded that confronting COVID-19, people began reimagining their work lives and seeking out careers that offer the chance to make a difference in the world. Some people are transitioning to roles that offer this type of experience. Others are upskilling, going back to school to learn something new or find a job in a different industry that offers growth opportunities and job satisfaction. The anecdotal evidence suggests that many of these persons have pursued their passions and opportunities in Tibet and the fields, or as we like to say in Jamaica, from your hand and your fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, as 
can do this your marks. Let me reassure you that the JDF will continue to invest in and make TVET a critical component of the cadre of professionals and education programs. We will continue to do this because we have a first hand, we have seen first hand the value of TVET training and certification, not only for our soldiers, but for the many Jamaicans, Jamaican youths that we have been proud to train in our TVET training facilities. We will also continue this push because of our firm belief that the provision of training and certification for, for to our young people is a critical element of our long-term effort to stem the high levels of crime and violence impacting our country. The JDF intends to play its part in achieving this objective by continuing to develop TIPA programs, independency programs, as well as other national programs and institutes that are geared towards, of course, the vibrant young youth or young men and women from a life of crime. In so doing, is our intention to ultimately change the culture of violence in Jamaica and the framework for a safe and secure Jamaica in keeping with our vision 2030 development goals. Thank you.